All right, today I'm going to show you how you can uh, make your mouth look like it's screaming and your mouth is like really large and it's coming down kind of far out. <laughs> um, so I got a light here, I'm just pointing it towards the wall and I'm going to take a picture of myself screaming and then we're going to go on the computer and uh, mess it up. So I need to be at an angle because I don't want, it's fit, the light is pointing at a mirror right now. So. All right, that looks good. So let's go to the computer. Okay, so I just messed around with it, and uh, this was the result that I got. Um, I want to show you some other ones, though. You can do different things with this. Um, you can make it so your mouth is just covering your entire head. Um, there's another example. It's kind of similar to the one I just did. Um, there's another one. Uh, he's pretty good looking, uh, <laughs> uh, and there's another one. So, um, so what you do, we're going to mess around with this right now. I'm going to go back to the original picture, get rid of these, okay, so here is the original picture. Um, now what you want to do is you want to duplicate the layer, so drag it down to that page. Um, and now what you want to do, I with this particular one, I'm going to make um, the mouth cover the entire face. And I'm going to forget about the chin going down like I did last time. But if you wanted that effect, you can still use the same concept that I'm going to show you right now. So, um, yeah, we got the layer duplicated, so we're just going to select um, the mouth. And then we're going to go, there's two ways you can do this. You can go to image... Um, cont uh, go to edit content to our scale and then scale it up it's gotta wait <laughs> it's calculating come on okay so then you would just drag it over Um, after it's done calculating. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, well, anyway, just apply it. Okay. Wow, that was quick. Okay. <laughs> so, um, then what you gotta do is you gotta select the inverse of that and delete everything. So now, as you can see on this layer, all that exists is the mouth. So now you want to move this over. And um, now you just mask out the areas you don't want. So you create a mask down here on this layer. You select a, a black brush. Um, make it soft. And just erase. <laughs> make sure your opacity is on 100%. And erase the stuff you don't want. So... La 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 la. Just like that. Okay. Um. Let's see. Yeah, I could go with that. Okay. Pretty handsome guy. Whoops. Yikes, what am I doing? Okay. Um. If the lips come out weird, you can always just mask them out to make them look normal again. Sometimes they get really stretched out. Okay, so there's one way to do it. The other way you can do it is go back to the original picture. You still duplicate the layer, but then you just use regular um, resizing of the mouth. So just select the mouth, push Control T, and then just drag it up and resize it. Just like that. You can get, you know, different results for different things. Just try both and see what one you like. And then you just mask it out and see what it looks like. Yikes. Okay. So there. You get the concept. Um, that one's a little bit messy, but yeah. <laughs> so um, that's about it. You could also just do this with a different body parts. Like you can make your tongue like go all the way down. 
or some something very grotesque just like that so um yeah if you want to see more tutorials on this and on trick photography in general go to photoextremist.com see you later